Skull, and welcome my friends. I'm Holotrak and we're going to be playing some Ancestors Legacy, developed by Destructive Creations, a Polish developer, and published by 1C Publishing. They've been so kind and have given me access to the closed beta for the single player. We'll be able to play the first three um, missions of the Viking campaign. There are going to be multiple campaigns uh, with up to... I think all in all 40 missions um, and this is a strategy game set in the early to middle um, medieval um, times we will be able to play um, Saxons, um, Vikings, Slavs and Germans I think and I've played through this on my stream and I really really enjoyed it um, and I thought I'd bring it to YouTube as well and instead of just re-uploading this stream footage I'd actually do a separate series for YouTube so that um, I can really do it justice because that is a game that I really enjoy it's gonna come out in uh, the second quarter of 2018 and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to it um, that's gonna be a multiplayer um, part of this as well so um, yeah, I guess we're just going to go straight in it. I've brought the Viking helmet. Uh, we're going to put that on once uh, we actually get into the game. There's an opening cinematic. Music is being done by um, two of the composers of the Witcher 1 and 2 soundtrack. And the soundtrack is actually amazing. And I'm also, yeah, just very happy with the game because it's sticking to historical accuracy. Um, I mean, not in all points, but in, in the important points. No, no horned helmets and uh, all that kind of shenanigans in here. So, yeah. And it's just being done with a lot of uh, attention and love for the for the historical detail and I really really, really uh, appreciate that so let's just go in um, play one of the missions we're gonna go for off the course um, the three missions that we're gonna be playing are kind of tutorial um, missions later missions will give us more freedom and uh, yeah, allow allow for for different strategies and stuff um, it is a strategy game that is squad based so your guys can get experience and all that kind of stuff but yeah let's just jump in and you can make yourself um, your own uh, picture of the things I'm gonna move to the side so you can One see the subtitles 793 a storm was approaching the shores of the kingdom of Northumbria a few months earlier Althing, the council of Vikings made the decision to plunder its largest abbey the famous Lindisfarne one of the leaders of this expedition was Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, a stern but respected man among his people. However, it wasn't meant for all of the Northmen to reach Lindisfarne by the sea. A storm that hit the coast of Northumbria has scattered some of their ships miles away from their destination. Ulf's raiding party landed near a town called Bambara. The Northmen saw it as an easy target to plunder. Little did they know that all of Northumbria was just coming out of a bloody civil war. Troops of a new King Eitled were battling remnants of recently murdered King Osred's royal army. For this reason, heavy garrisons were scattered throughout the country, and one of them was stationed just outside Bambara. So that is the situation. We're gonna we're gonna move and we're gonna try to raid Lindisfarne. And uh, contrary to history, it's gonna go spectacularly wrong, um, or it's gone spectacularly wrong because we managed to arrive at a point in time where the whole um, country is mobilized and is ready for war. Which, um, yeah, it's not what happened historically, <laughs> but it's it's a nice idea to sort of gain more um, conflict right at the beginning. Uh, if you want to read that text, it says, On June uh, 5, 793 AD, Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, along with other Jarl, sets off for an invasive rally with the goal to plunder the wealthy Lindisfarne monastery. At sea, however, they encounter a storm and Ulf Strucker lands, along with others, on the other side of the island near the Anglo-Saxon town named Bambara, which was a fairly um, important um, castle. If you've read the um, the Uthred saga, um, a book saga about um, Uthred of Bambara, then uh, you're well um, you're well acquainted with Bambara, right? So we're going to press any key to start. We're going to have another cinematic after that. Mm. And yeah, it says it says ancestors legacy beta down there to the side. So well, this is the best spot for for my head to be in.
Now this is a very stylish intro. <laughs> These guys just uh, struck that that rock. They must have been blind. <laughs> that's the one thing that's probably not too accurate um, historically. Um, I don't think that any of these landing parties really looked like landing in the Normandy, but I, I can, I can, uh, I can live with that. It's fine. It's just for dramatic effect, and I mean, it is more fun that way. Yeah, everyone takes an axe to the face. Day next for the win. No! Eric's dead. See you in Valhall, brother. Alright, so. Things are gonna start to happen. So these are our guys currently. That's my objective. This is my first unit. So these units can level up. Um, you see... That green bar is the amount of men that they have, um, and I think the the upper bar is their morale. And we're gonna learn all the game concepts slowly but surely. So let's move on. Um, Got to meet with our y'all over here. You can see that we can that we can move, and that is the unit system in game. We're only gonna have squads, and this guy is a hero. Join your forces. All right then. We're gonna give Ulf number two, and we're gonna give both of these. Ah, yeah, right, they can't be in different groups. Alright then, doesn't matter. But yeah, uh, we do have an action camera in here that will allow me to move into the battles, which is pretty cool. Um, so, Ulf has to survive, and we gotta join our allies in here. Those are the objectives. Um, we can use formations and other stuff down here, it will all slowly be um, unlocked as we play through. Stupid storm. Alright, so we've got to flank those those nasty, nasty archers. And we're going to do that right away. Come on, guys. On the double. On the double. Um, we can go for directions, which is actually important, because if they get flanked, um, they're not going to fight as well. If they get surrounded or anything. Now let's move on up over here. Oh yeah, there's another, another slinger unit. Okay, let's go, guys. Yarolf, move! Um, the hero does have special abilities. Which we can't activate right now. But yeah, let's go after those archers. We haven't even lost a guy. That's pretty good. I like that. 
Ah, we're done. Okay, we've got two units of shield bearers now. That's good. Um, now, these guys will help us take on the archers because they actually do have the... Um, Okay, right. Uh, we have the raised shields. Shields up. Shields up. I'm gonna send them in. Come on, raise shields. Okay, we're gonna send these guys in too. And we're also gonna send in our other guys. Raise the shields. Come on, people. Do it! <laughs> Take him out! Now there are our spearmen. I'm gonna try to... to move him around? Come on! Get around there! Ah, apparently not. Okay. Well, they're outnumbered now. They're basically gone. And they're gone. Yeah, Ulf is definitely a bloodthirsty dude. Right, um, some of the dialogue is still um, preliminary. It's not the finished dialogue that we're going to have. You can see that we can uh, start burning these buildings. Um, we do have certain buildings to destroy. Um, that one... The, that one. So we don't really have to, to burn down that one, uh, that building. Come on, guys. Let's move on over. Let's take out these archers. Oh, slingers. Yeah, these are actually slingers. All right, then. Probably should help our our own guys over there. So that they don't just get slaughtered. That's probably a good idea. Come on, take them out. Those slingers can't do anything in melee. Well, actually, they do have swords. But they don't have any shields. Come on, die! Go on! All right then. So we're gonna we're gonna try to flank the other dudes because they do have shields. Come on, people! Don't get involved in the fight. Don't get involved in the fight until I tell you to. Ah, those idiots! They already they already ran into the enemy. Okay, now they're flanked. Now they're flanked. Where's Ulf? Okay, Ulf is over here. These guys got slaughtered. We still have the problem with these people. Come on, take him out. And a warrior died. That's not good. We can have friendly fire from uh, the enemy groups, from the enemy archers, which is definitely unnice. Um, I can select everyone on screen currently. Uh, I... uh, another group of these guys. Come on, kill them! Yeah, once they once they are engaged, it's very difficult to to pull them out of there. But that is to be expected. Like, how are they gonna manage that? Okay, let's let's start to burn that thing down. Come on, guys, go for it. Okay, once the red bar fills to completion, the thing is gonna start burning and burning down on its own. Okay, things are happening now. Things are happening burning things. It's chaos. It's absolute chaos. <laughs> Burn things! Oh yeah, okay, that thing is completely burnt down now. Um, let's try to take that thing out before they bring another unit. That's probably not what we want. Burn the bloody thing! Come on! There's still people training in there. Um, I guess they're pretty unfazed about us. Um actually burning the bloody thing down. That's fine by me, though. You can just chill, continue training. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe they're just real cowards, though. But yeah, these are recruitment buildings, so they definitely need to go down first. Um, the other guys are already, are already storming the place. So let's follow them. Come on, guys. Move it! Move it, move it, move it! Ah, we have a charge. Uh, the charge has been blocked. Not sure what else we can do. It's just one unit of spear guys, though. 
Yeah, but there's no way to get around them. They definitely have a good uh, defensive uh, place. Let's stop the shields. I already need the shields here. So where are my other guys? Okay, they're all here now. Ulf does have the fear ability, so let's reduce their morale. Yeah, you can see their morale is going down. Ah, definitely taking some losses. You can see that these guys um, are wearing chainmail. So they're definitely much better protected than our people are. Because none of these guys have chainmail except for Ulf. Um, they, our guys can um, heal. Which we're going to see in a little bit. Okay, so yeah, let's destroy that building. Come on, guys. No dawdling. No, not that one. That one. That's the important one. Destroy their church or whatever. Or their, their capital building, I guess. Yeah, that one's already burning down. Alright, we're getting there. Okay. That thing is gone now. We destroyed all the important buildings. Okay. Oh, you, you want me to destroy the other ones too? No. No! <laughs> and they're probably gonna burn our ships too. Man, these guys are buffed up. Did you see that? All those uh, male armor, all that male armor on them. Okay, formations. Press the change formation toggle button in the squad menu to change formation. Alright. Okay, we're gonna go for defensive, I guess. On all our guys. And I really should... I'm, I'm gonna try to go for the battle camera too like once once something happens though <laughs> let's go for the defensive spear wall keep, keep the shields up Ulf oh you're not in combat that's not good. Yeah, you can see these guys are buffed up to the gills. That uh, golden symbol shows that uh, they have a lot of armor. Like, these guys are crazy strong. <laughs> Freaking hell. No, come on, Ulf. Uh, I want to have a look at the battle. Don't be like that. Ah, they're slaughtering us. Because they're much better equipped. This is not good. Not good. I really gotta say, I, I like the battle animations. This is visceral. <laughs> Our guys are fighting with naked, with naked upper bodies. To battle! Okay, we can just uh, set our guys to retreat. Yeah, everyone's just running now. I guess that's how it goes. And we're done. With that chapter, at least. And I think that's a good point for us, actually, to stop. Because I want to play chapter after chapter. Um, we're going to play the next chapter in the next episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did. First episode of a series definitely um, helps the series to show up in steam search results and all that kind of stuff we're gonna be playing some uh, we're gonna be playing the next episode um, the next mission in the next episode so I uh, hope you do come back and uh, yeah I see you in the next episode thanks bye bye